Zach Wilson, Bluegrass Bodybuilding and Fitness. You know what day it is, player. It's back day, baby. Let's get it. We're setting this back workout off with pull-ups. Do four working sets here. Uh, starting off with just body weight and then go up by a plate each time. So 25, 35, and then a 45. I like to start out my back workouts with pull-ups. Uh, I get a really good mind to muscle control over my lats when I do pull-ups versus just doing, uh, you know, cable lat pull-downs. Um, I try to use as strict form as I can on pull-ups um, just to engage my lats as much as I possibly can. And this also you know, warms up my back and uh, preps me before doing deadlifts. So that's why I like doing these. It's deadlift day, baby. Yeah, it's deadlift day, guys. This routine I'll be doing today is a powerlifting routine where you do five working sets of five reps each set. So it's a five by five. And I'm doing my sets with five plates. Uh, that's 500 pounds or 495 for you hippies out there. I do four warm up sets leading up to my five by five, you know, increasing by a plate each time. So 135, 225. 315 and then last right here is my last warm-up set 405 This routine is not only for building muscle and strength, but also to increase your endurance Do this routine every back day for a month or you can also do it bi-weekly uh, Increasing the weight by five or ten pounds each week. So uh, for example if you start off uh, week one doing five sets of five with 315 the next week, increase the weight to 320 or 325, and so on and so forth, so forth for a solid month. If you're wondering what weight you should start out with on your 5x5, you should start out with around 50 to 60 percent of whatever your max is, or whatever you think you can get five sets of five with. This fourth set gave me a run for my money. You're going to see on these last couple reps is an example of what not to do on deadlifts right here that was bad and this last one is pretty sloppy too bent arch back not good my form starts getting crappy like that last set i'm stopping but i added two and a half to each side because i got a hippie behind the, hip, behind the camera and a hippie over here so 500 here you go I only do three three reps on this last set. Um, like I said before, if my form was going to get bad, uh, I would just stop and, because I want to keep good form. And I felt like my form was, was kind of getting sloppy, so I, I just stopped. But three good reps here. Here's our next exercise, bent over underhand row. I did them underhanded. Uh, personally, I feel better contraction, better mind and muscle control uh, connection when I do them underhanded. Uh, that's just me, but there's a thousand ways to do this exercise. It all depends on where you pull the bar to. I was aiming just right above my belly button, so it's going to hit, uh, you know, middle back, a little bit of upper back, because my next exercise is going to be a low row, and I wanted to focus on hitting a little bit higher with this exercise. I usually start my working sets with 225, but seeing as I just did all those deadlifts, my back was really fatigued. So this is my last set, 225. Here's our next exercise, one arm low row. This is going to target the bottom of your lat uh, and also a little bit of your middle back as well. And this is just a great exercise for overall back development and thickness.
This is another exercise where you want to think about leading with your elbow. Think about your lower arm just being attached to the dumbbell and your elbow is the one that's leading the exercise. You want to extend your elbow as far back as you possibly can to get the maximum amount of contraction in your lat. Here we have a lat pull down. Uh, this is a different type of bar. I thought I'd switched up a little bit. This bar is used for width. Um, it helps build width in your lats. Uh, I'm not sure what the official name of the bar is, but you grab the bar from the side like you, you, you see there. It's pretty cool. If somebody knows the official name of this bar, let me know in the comments section. I just wanted to show you guys the weight that I was doing there. I didn't want you guys to think I was doing like 20 pounds. So I think I went up to like the 16th or 17th uh, setting. So uh, 17 times 12 and a half is like over 200 pounds. <laughs> 212, I think. Got off with seated cable rope. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, not doing super heavy weight. I'm completely fatigued at this point. Just trying to get a little bit more blood into the muscle. you just see me destroy back uh, I can't even pretend to be excited right now because I am T totally exhausted um, I haven't done deadlifts in like a month so it's no excuse right it's no excuse my form should have been better on a couple of those reps but uh we got her done man and I'm definitely exhausted right now so leave some, uh, leave some comments let me know what you guys think oh and uh let me know let me oh, gosh I can't talk today let me know what you guys think about carnivore, man. Got some fruit punch carnivore. Uh, it's my girlfriend's. It's kind of weird thinking about fruit punch protein. I don't know what to think about that. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave some comments, like my video, and as always, subscribe. So this is Zach Wilson, Bluegrass Bodybuilding and Fitness. Yeah.